Okay guys, I've been asked more than a couple of times to do a walkthrough of my shop and today is your lucky day. Let's start in the end here. The shop is actually uh, 3,200 square feet total. 2,400 square feet worth of floor space out here in the shop. It is a U-shape. Here, all the way down and out. And the raw material starts down there by the American and Texas flags, machined in the center. Comes down here for inventory assembly and out the door. No shop is complete without a beer fridge. Now, it's not actually a beer fridge, it's my lunch fridge, but every once in a while you'll find a six pack in there. Big on recycling, plastic bottles in the corner, a little bit of storage area, lunch table. This is an assembly table for my medical devices. Lathe. In case you guys want a close up on that collar rack. Tool shelf. All the lathe attachments are sitting on that shelf at the end. Now this is a functional in process building so if there's any dirt, clutter, whatever, please uh, understand that that's just the way it's got to be. Back side of the inventory rack. This is my CNC area, 4020 Fadal. 4020A Fidal with a new LED screen. All my benches are the two inch maple and everything in here better have a rag underneath whatever's on those benches or you're gonna see me freak out. Latest run of the alignment pins. If you haven't used one or seen one, check out the rotary table videos to see how they're applied. That's a very popular item here. This is my bench. The welding area is behind the screen. It is a TIG and stick back there. 949 Enco mill. And I don't know if you guys watched the video on that uh, dust collection system I have on that, but boy, that works like a charm. And only for LE phenolics or light smoke. It's not going to suck in hot chips. This is the YouTube table. Anytime I finish up with a video where I'm demonstrating how to build something, it hits this table right here. And pretty soon I'm going to need a bigger table. The very end of the shop here is where all the abrasives and sawing take place. I have the 16 inch Dual. What a great machine. If you can find one of these, jump on it. It's going to cost you, but even if it's beat, get it because you know they're not that hard to restore. Very basic. Clean it up, paint it, new bearings, boom, done. It's my stock rack. All the material that comes into this building is given a serial number and is traceable, so I know exactly how much uh, any job costs in material, and I can watch the change in the price as time goes by. Chop saw, horizontal, horizontal, sander, radial arm saw. That's an old machine. Got my little buffer deburring machine right there. Big fan because it does get hot. And my 750 waiting for the engine to get pulled out. We're going to send that out and wake that thing up. Bow door grinder. 48 inch three door blaster. Air. Wood saw. Band saw. Heat treat. And this is the nasty, ugly assembly bench. If you got to bang it, spray it, glue it, pound on it, grease it, whatever, take it apart, it better be done on this bench. Because every other bench in the shop looks like this, and it better stay that way. And it's just in case I forget that this is my bench. <laughs> I'm not sure who stuck that there, but it's going to stay. Shop is primarily medical devices and scuba gear. And a lot of my customers are very fussy about cleanliness. So am I. I hate dirt on a Monday morning or a Friday morning or whenever. So we try to keep it looking just as clean. I own all the equipment that I need. I use all the equipment that I own. And I'm not a big fan of buying a machine that I'm only going to use twice a year. When that happens, I send it out. It's 
so be it. Oh, stick around for two minutes. All right, let's take one more look at the shop. Assembly table, lunch fridge. Now, as we walk around the shop this time around, I want you to see if you can tell what's different. Because this is one of those Where's Waldo kind of things. And I can honestly tell you that it's not going to be one of these totes got a different number on it or more or less. It's not going to be that minute. It is going to be something that will jump right up and say, yep, that's different. I will be very curious to see how many of you get everything that changed. The things that changed are very obvious and it's one of those things, grab a beer, better yet put your kid on it. Tell them to watch the first one, come back and watch the second one. Tell me what happened. Just for fun guys, cabin fever setting in. Stay well.